Why are people always watching the news? Who are these people? Well, they're telling you about everything that is new. Right. What they're calling news is just a series of short clips edited together to present a narrative to support some prejudiced opinion. It's not news. The whole episode is just a bunch of speculation about what might happen or what did happen. And it's all endless repetition. Today they showed the same clip of a guy saying the same thing he said four hours ago, in the same tone of voice, and added some analysis from someone else who works for the network. It's ludicrous. Yes, it seems completely cynical to me. And it's all about being first. First to report something. The most important story. What will happen next? It's like watching a bad magician or a scam artist selling you some kind of magic anti-aging cream. Do you think the people that watch this stuff are getting smarter? No, I don't think so. And what is the point of it? I presume it's to manipulate us into giving more power to the media network. I suspect that's right, Sofia. It's not like they're doing anything risky or brave, or dealing with any hard or important issues. And the stories are all about things that we can't possibly change anyway, or complex things we don't understand. I agree. It's a cynical way to control us. I'm glad we don't watch it anymore. Me too. Now, what is it that you were saying about our star? I think it's interesting that we are not alone in the universe. Yes, I think it's great that we found something interesting, but are you saying that we should expect life on other planets? Why? We have a decent number of examples in our own solar system. The fact that there's life on Earth is pretty good evidence that the conditions needed for life are common. I don't know, Sophia. I'm not a chemist or a biologist or an astrophysicist. But so far, when we look out into space, we see a lot of gas and dust and a few rocks. To me, it's pretty simple. When you have a bunch of gases and dust floating around in space, after a while some of it will stick together and form rocks. And when enough rocks stick together, gravity will pull them into a ball, and if the ball is big enough, it becomes a planet. I think that's what happened in our case. Earth was just the right size to pull itself together, and when it did it became a nice place for us to live, nice temperature range, oxygen in the air, lots of water, not too hot or too cold. The fact that Earth became a nice place for us to live is one of the reasons I think we're special, the only life in the universe. Let me get this straight. You think that we are the only life in the universe? Well, that's just what I think. You think that's a reasonable idea? Yes, why not? Maybe life is really unlikely and Earth is an anomaly. But it can't be any more unlikely than winning the lottery. And life on Earth is a lot like winning the lottery. I mean, when you think about this place, it's amazing. Earth is huge. It's so amazingly huge. There's so much of it. And yet we can live here. We don't need a spacesuit to walk around outside. We don't need an air conditioner. We don't need a tank of oxygen. We have water just dripping out of the sky and fish swimming in the ocean and birds hanging out on the branches of trees. I mean, it's incredible. Yes, I agree that it's incredible. I think it's amazing that we live here, that there is life here. There's so much life on Earth. This one planet is completely covered with living things. And we have whole cities of living humans and trillions of other creatures. It's really amazing. Well, yes, but we've only explored the surface of the Earth. What if there's life underground? Underground, I never thought of that. But what's to say that if there is life underground, the same principles don't apply? Maybe it's really small and simple. And why couldn't there be other forms of life? Maybe we're the weird ones. Maybe some creatures look at us on Earth and think we're too big and weird. So you think there may be other forms of intelligent life in the universe? At least I don't rule it out. If scientists keep looking at the data and don't just make assumptions, maybe they'll find something. I agree that we should keep an open mind. But you know, it's a big universe, Sophia. Even if there is other life out there, it's probably very far away and unlikely we'll ever meet it. I don't quite understand why you say that. 